Good afternoon, and thanks for joining me back for, with another video. No soap, no problem. Right here behind me, I have Adam's Needle. And it is a member of the Yucca family. And coincidentally, we can use this plant to lather up and wash off. And I'm going to show you how. Watch. So all I'm going to do is go over here, cut me a leaf off. And you're probably going to need scissors or a knife because uh, this plant is quite strong. And then we're going to take it to some water. And that's about all we're going to need, a leaf and some water. Now that we're over here with our, our leaf and got some water in here, watch what happens. We're just going to crumble this leaf up. It takes a minute. Add some water. Mash it up really good. And you see I got some green on my hands. What happens is this plant is loaded with saponins, which is where we get our word soap from. Still a lot of green on my hands. I want to show you the process. Mashing it up. You'll see a lot of those fibers start to come out, which can be used for rope which can be twisted into cord, which can be made into mats and other things. Starting to see some bubbles. This will actually lift dirt, grease, grime from your hands. We just gotta tear it and get it macerated looky there now we're starting to get to what we want and you can see the bubbles on top of the water so just for you can start to see it here just for easy remember I've taught my son not to remember it by Adam's needle or even the Latin name, which I forget at this time. We just call it soap plant. And this is just from the leaves. Now, I don't want to kill that plant, but if I were to use the roots, this would be a lot easier. Let's see if I can squeeze some suds out. Yeah. There'll be a they'll be more rich in saponins the more the spring develops. Which spring at the time of this recording is in about two days. And I'm telling you, that will get your hands really, really clean. Soap plant. So anyway. So this is just a quick video to remind everybody that God has already provided 
everything that we need. And in the midst of this coronavirus, COVID-19, I encourage you to read Psalms 91. It says plainly that he will protect us from the pandemic. He's protected us from everything. What's the worst that can happen to the believer? Go to heaven? I'll take it any day. But until then, I look forward to you joining me here for more survival tips, more ways to ease your wallet. And I look forward to hearing from your comments. And also, if you have not already done so, please join us on Facebook at New and Old Survival. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not buying into all of this panic. And it's not because I have masses amount of food and water and uh, whatever has to go along with all of this. But number one, because I trust in my creator. Number two, the numbers just don't add up for what's going on. Please comment, like, please subscribe. And I'll help you survive what's coming. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.